Hi everybody, welcome back to a new series with me, Sid. And uh, what we are seeing here, let me just go back to the loading screen, is Terra Firmacraft Reloaded. Yep, Season 5 of Terra Firmacraft is here. It's a modded pack and uh, available on um, Curse Forge. Terra Firmacraft Reloaded. We're going to get started with a new world and it's going to be called... Uh, Season 5, it is going to be survival mode. Our seed is going to be titanium underscore Sid. Uh, and we are going to have cheats on for the usual reason that this is a modded series and potentially things can and almost certainly at some point will go wrong and I will need to fix things. So, you know, there are other ways around it, but at the end of the day, that's it. So, uh, we're back with TFC. TFC Reloaded is um, it's an interesting pack because it actually has Dinker's Construct in it, which I was surprised surprised by. It. Uh, a few other mods, um, Ender IO, Immersive Engineering, quite a lot of um, exten extensions and expansions to TFC. Um, and hopefully this will work okay. <laughs> As we, we saw with Season 4, we could pick a mod pack, and the mod pack seems to work okay, and then everything just falls apart. Let's see how this one goes. Um, but, as per usual, the first generation is a little bit now. I will point out straight away, I'm not overly keen on this U UI, and we've got what annoying fireworks every time you get an achievement mod um, which is a thing but we are here we are in a forest that is very very dark around here so I am going to start by doing annoying things and set it off fireworks the only real good thing about this is that ultimately those fireworks will go away because there'll be less and less achievements to get but early doors we're going to have yeah, getting all of these achievements will be a pain in the backside now I would imagine very much like the previous uh, oh, beehive from uh, metamod custom items we'll here do I do I try and grab it I suppose we should what do we get honeycomb don't know what we do with it we'll figure it out um, and oops getting a bit of lag already this is terra firm craft all over though isn't it and some small tetrahedrite we will start collecting that i'm going to make a journey map marker on it though and we're going to go new tetrahedrite you know what copper in orange and it's a question mark. That was our method of marking them before. So the question mark indicates that, it, oh, and we also need to, let's have a look, we need to go waypoint beacons are off. Hand close and done. Right, yeah, so that coming up with a good means of marking your Potential ore locations is is always beneficial in this. Uh, okay, there we go. It's a bit more, and then there we go. Oh, man, settle down. Um, and what we are going to need to do before long is try and get ourselves a little bit of timber because it, at some point we're going to need to protect ourselves, and the best way of doing that is going to be uh, with a little bit of napping. And if I remember my thing correctly there we go there's our first rather annoying sound and then we'll get a little bit of the old um, thing wouldn't I oh, you know what I've forgotten just how bad these axes are <laughs> um, yeah hopefully you're all happy that I'm doing TFC again uh, I I've always had a soft spot for TFC. I'm really interested in the TFC 112 port when that comes along, um, but it's it's some way off, I suspect. Um, the the official port that is not the TFC 2, which is a completely different thing entirely. Um, now the other thing we should probably do is get in here and now if I can remember, 
that will make a couple of knives and that will allow us to go round and get a whole load of this going. So, TFC, what do we need to know? Well, the first f first opening times of TFC are brutal. Um, you're going to be starving to death. You're not going to be able to sleep through the night. The monsters are relentless. Um, but it's not all bad. Um, and, yeah, you do need to just be prepared to have to... I generally find that I have to wait through the night. Oh, we're doing quite well on this um, tetrahedrite. That's nice. You are going to want to find that really early on. Um, if you can find a good source of copper, I mean, we've got what well, we've got seven copper already. We're, we're nearly at the stage where we could make um, a single ingot, which is exceptional for this early in on the first day. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had a, a single ingot of copper. So we've got AgriCraft in it. Um, that's another mod that I'm not familiar or used to seeing in TFC. Um, but we definitely need to try and find two... Oh, there's one. Oh, and we've got um, berries of some description. What are you? Gooseberries. Yeah, we'll have those. That's our first food. Uh, and it was ripe, which is even better. That is not ripe, so we'll not bother with that. But we need to stack those. So that's food sorted. We we found a few fresh water sources. So I'm just going. Oh, I'm just going to grab a few more of these. So I've got a stack, maybe. Um, can't see. Oh wow. The uh, the Samambian mod is going on here for definite. What are we at now? Nine pieces of copper. Uh, we just want one more, don't we? Let me go and find it. So yeah, I, I, this is going to be uh, another interesting series, I think. And hopefully, uh, as I say, we'll have we'll have some fun moving forward. Thorncraft is in it, so we are going to have to be cautious because there are spider spawners, um, there are altars, there's cultists. Well, what else we got? As I say, immersive engineering, Ender IO, I believe, is in. So there's, there's a little bit of. Uh, oh, there we go. Number 10. A little bit of duplication to what we had in the last pack. Um, but that's, I suppose, is kind of inevitable. I want to kind of head s um, south a little bit. We're, we're probably in about a sweet zone for for crops so that is that's a useful thing to bear in mind but um, we are going to have to find more ores we're going to have to find clay somewhere about so I haven't seen any of that yet and I, I don't like having or I certainly don't like living in uh, what are you oh Galana no, no, I don't, I'm going to leave uh, hang on J, new, new, Gal Galana, Galana, question mark, and uh, because I'm, uh, I don't know, we'll go for there. Kind of lead colour, isn't it? Uh, we're not picking it up because I don't think it has any use, and if it does have any use, it certainly doesn't have any use this early on in the game. Uh, but yeah, I don't like being surrounded by trees. Um, especially not early doors because you can't see what mobs there are and what's coming at you. You certainly can't um, easily protect yourself. There's our evidence of Thorncraft. I'll not bother collecting that right now because I don't think we can use it for anything. Um, and... Whoa. Yeah, I just want to find, try and get into somewhere that's a little bit less... Um, thing the a little bit less in your face and crowded what are you you're sphalerite okay i need to mark that one new new sphalerite question mark uh, it's tin so i'll stick it in white 
I think it's tin. Off the top of my head, I think Svalorite was tin. Um, if I'm if it's not tin, correct me, but I'm fairly certain Svalorite was used is is tins, and we might need that for some things going forward. So, ah, there we go. Look, we're we're getting out of the woodland, which is ideal. But as I say, oh clay, 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 clay. Right, there's clay there. Let me uh, let me mark here. Uh, on the map, new, new, and it's clay. We'll just leave that in that. So we need to, A, avoid things like this, because this is going to kill you. The ravines and crevices in TFC are endless, but what we have got, which is nice, is we've got um, tomatoes, and some of these are ripe, which is really nice. Uh, there's some gold, which I'll mark on the map in a moment. I'm just going to kind of get a feel for what's in the area. If I was, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, but I, I, I'll, I'll still make the better. Oh, wow, we're getting on a bit. Uh, I would say that that is a Thorncraft Barrow Mound. Anyway, let me just come over here and mark on some new or put gold question mark and again mark mark your oars <laughs> you will not regret it I better eat I'm gonna to have to get a drink at some point as well but there's some water over this way um, and what we're going to need to do is decide how we're going to defend ourselves through the night at the moment we haven't really got a huge amount going for us that is a barrow excellent I'm not gonna mark it again I'm, I'm in the area right now we have got water, which is also good news. Um, clay, that's... Right, so if I take my sticks, I can make those. And if I remember my... My my thought my oh man if I can get the right things because my inventory is already starting to look like a mess and then we can pop a log in there and we can stick a stick in there and hopefully we'll get a few torches now what I want to do is I should have made a. Oh wow, this they're noisy, the neighbours. Uh, so what we can't do is do much about this. But what we can actually, I shouldn't have done that one. Hang on, we can if we can just get this right. Uh, we'll stab a torch, it'll take you, we'll stab a torch down here, we're going to place a piece of that there and then we should be able to make a piece of thatch which may or may not catch fire, this is a danger that we're going to take with the torch. But I need to wait through the night now, so uh, I will see you in the morning. One advantage if you're making these little hobo holes is if you can try and get yourself facing east, you can see the sunrise a lot easier. Um, at this stage, I think heading out there would be foolish. Um, we, we are, again, our food is going down rapidly, but we are only eating gooseberries after all. Um, I think we are going to need to go and get those tomatoes today and we're going to try and get this um, copper smelted so we can make a saw. Once we have a saw then we could do storage and, and get some proper stuff going. That looks to me like probably a good point to get out. We should also, in fact while I'm thinking about it and we're just waiting for the start of the day, oh I haven't got any, uh, doesn't matter. I haven't got any sticks right now. My God, listen to that dawn chorus. Um, yeah. So we should be all right, I think. Well, we'll. I mean, we can see the mobs on the map. I'm not sure whether that how 
how I feel about being able to see the mobs on the map all the time. But this is our hobo hole. We're going to pick that torch up. That way we don't have to worry about anything killing us uh, coming over. So let's have a look around. Now the tomatoes were over this way. Uh, I could do with some more sticks anyway. So that's always a good thing. Because we need to get out there. We can break leaves, um, but at this early stage, things dead. Zombie flesh, no point in taking it because you can't eat it. And uh, I mean, it's a bit gross to eating it anyway when you consider that. But you know, we we seem to be uh, in a reasonable hmm. Interesting. Might be worthwhile bearing that one in mind. A little cave. It's not ideal, but... So that one is mature. So we'll have some food. And let the... Uh, uh, that one is mature. Uh, that one is mature. That one over there looks like it's mature. So we'll have it. Oh, there's two over there that look mature, in fact. And I just saw something interesting. Let me just uh, grab these first while we can and get them stacked together that is a spawner tree I'm not going anywhere near that right now and uh, but I saw petrified wood useless oh I'm pleased it told me it was useless saves me wasting time getting it now I need sticks didn't I? oh hang on stack and put those away um, we need sticks, we need clay, and yeah, uh, probably in that kind of order. We're going to need a shovel, we're going to need more wood, and uh, I think that's probably about it really. Let's um, make a shovel. You never forget, you know, you never forget your terra firma craft tool recipes. Uh, <laughs> trust me, when we come to do some of the other ones, I will have forgotten, I guarantee it. Anyway, we're going to need a wee bit of this clay. Uh, so we are lucky that we spawned in a biome that's wet enough. I think it was, I think it was last season, actually, season four, where uh, we really struggled for clay early doors. Um, it was either season four or season three. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how that ambient noise is, because it's a little bit intrusive, I think, is probably a fair description. Uh, I don't know how much I like it. We may have to quiet it down. I'm just watching that zombie. I can see him moving on the minimap, and I don't know whether he's above me or below me or, or what, but we're having that. Uh and a bit more clay right let me uh, while, we're, while we're in the area we'll grab a few more sticks and we're going to go and get a pilk pit kiln going so we can uh, get some copper and make a saw and I think that might even be one of the fastest instances of me getting a saw ever in the history of me playing terra firma craft galana still uh, well galana what are you that is um cotton that is celery all right where are you from cooking with tfc all right um we'll stack those We've obviously got some new crops growing around here, which is good. Uh, hmm, I, I should eat actually. That celery is looking very tasty. I never thought that, I never thought I'd say that. I can't stand celery. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's my avatar talking, not me. Anyway. Let us go and see about a pit kiln. Have we got enough wood? We have. We need eight, and and then we need. We got the uh, all the other bits and pieces. 
So we're going to need to make huh, what? Um, well, what are you? Flax, seventy-one percent. I can't eat you, so I'm not interested. Can I eat you? No, you're an amaranth. Uh, I'll leave that for now. That's more flax. There's some wheat over there, and they look to be like flowers. Now there is a mod in here that I am not the peanuts. Okay, we'll have it. Hope I'm not allergic. Mmm, lovely. Food is uh is not going to be a major. Well, it is going to be a major issue, but it's not going to be uh, the major issue that it could potentially be. So, what was I saying? Um, uh, I completely forgot. <laughs> Pumpkins are useless, and obviously I'm not going anywhere near that dungeon yet. I'm wondering whether to relocate to that cave. Uh, it has got more going for it, but breaking... Yeah, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Right, so what do we need to do? We're going to want to make... Um, oh, I'm trying to... Now, you see, now I'm trying to remember my recipes uh, and it is the one I want I know the things I'm going to want but what we're, we're going to make in the first instance is we could probably do with one of those and those that was it yeah okay so we're going to do one two and three of those and one of those then over here we'll dig a hole and we'll place these in like a so uh, get the old straw going in and then that and then we're going to light it now I could do it with a torch in fact I could quite easily do it with a torch because once you've got a few torches going the easiest way to make torches is with sticks uh, and then we can just toss that on there and that should get that lit yeah save that so, while that is cooking, um, we need to have a little look further around, see what we've got in our surrounding area. I'm looking for ores. Uh, hmm? Yeah, I know you're there, don't worry, mate. Spawn, Mr. Spawny Spawner. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a look around, see what we can see. That is a fruit tree over there. That over there is a roguelike dungeon, which is not going to get any kind of business from me for a considerable amount of time. However, we are taking you. Now, I'm conscious also that we are really racking up our inventory space here, which is why I wanted some of those extra things. Is that... That's clay over there. So we didn't own oh, this clay there as well, even better. How are we doing for a time? We're, we're okay at the moment. As long as we don't stray too far, we'll be fine. Yeah, survival is always fun in TFC. Uh, hazelnut tree. Wow, they, they are, they're, 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 they are, there are quite a few new crops in this, aren't they? Which is uh, interesting and will give us a bit more variety. Just trying to see if there's any any more ores. If I can do... Oh, hello. Let's not play with that. Give it a wide berth. It doesn't look to be spawning any uh, spectres, so that's always a, a bonus. Right. Well, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount over this way that I don't want to play with. So we'll head back. We, we are going to want to grab these this soya later. We also do need to get our... Wow, that sun's a bit bright in my face. We need to uh, get ourselves sorted. Um, 
and let that pit kiln finish and ideally I could do with finding some more copper or something if I could because if I could make two items that would be great but I'll settle with one uh, because we really need to also get ourselves put away for the night oh I think it's is it that that's making strange ambience going on around us anyway uh, as with last time we'll sit through the night and uh, again I shall see you in the morning ok another day another little blur blur let's try and do this in words another day another dollar and uh, of course this day decides to start out raining yep it's uh, let me just let's go with celery um, which of course means that many of the mobs that would have otherwise burnt up won't and I won't also be able to get a pit kiln going out there because you can't light a fire in the rain but that's fine because it gives me an opportunity to hunt around a little for a few more bits and pieces uh, we should have that which we can go over here and fill up that's good and then we should have one two and three now one of these I'm going to put ten copper in and put that back in there um, we'll decide what we do with the others or the rest once we've had a little chance to have a wander around this direction see what there is and if we can make, get more ore then we'll be in a good place to make maybe two tools so we'll make two tool moulds if we can't then we'll make more um, storage and that that kind of works as a plan uh, you are mature so we'll have that that will craft with a knife that is not right Hang on. I'm supposed to be able to get you can't eat barley, can you on its no. Interesting. You to, unless something has changed, that ain't working. We'll have to uh, worry about that later. Right now, let's have a little wander around, see what we can find in this area elsewhere. Um, weather's quite nice. This is, by the way, the, we're not staying here. Uh, just, I'm just trying to get established with the basics right now. And, uh, and once we've got the basics, we'll have that for definite. We'll have all of the peanuts for one, the protein, which is great and farmable protein as well where we're not just stuck with soya beans this time Boo -boo -boo. let's have a look I saw you over there thank you very much there's some more stackage done not seeing anything much in the way of uh, ore fragment uh, so why, what are you sphalerites well it's useful it's not what I wanted Right. Uh, like that will do me um, and we'll have all of the sphalerites because we'll want them later if, even if we don't want them now um, what I really want is more copper and I want this rain to go away and, uh, and then I will be a happy bunny but right now I'm just going to hunt around to see what we can find to eat um, flax mature. Hmm, interesting. 
that didn't give me what I thought it would. We also need to chop down some more trees as well, so let me just uh, potter around a bit and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, um, I don't think we're going to get any more resources here, so I think we are going to have to... I think this is... The... no, that's not it. Uh, let's have a look for the saw blade, shall we? I can never remember that one. It's uh, saw mould. Oh, yeah, it's... yeah, okay. So it's like that, and then, oh, damn it, like that. So that's going to go in there, and we'll have two more of those, because we can. Uh, we're not going to be able to light this until this rain stops, but it doesn't mean we can't prepare the area. A uh, bit of that, do, 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 do. and a bit of that. Do, 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 do. So right now, I'm just waiting for this um, rain to go away. And yeah, once that happens, we'll be happier. But nothing much I can do, so... I think we are at the stage where we can end this episode because we're probably at about 35 minutes. I haven't got a huge amount done but in terms of progress we are almost to the point where we have a saw. Once we've got a saw we can make buildings and with buildings we can actually find a place to live. But more importantly we can make a barrel which we can carry on our net on our back and we can fill it with um, these with all of our goodies in it and we can go and find ourselves somewhere to live um, because this area is not ideal and yeah uh, until next time thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you soon bye for now